Hi everybody, great to see you again. Now I'm going to show you how to draw a gorgeous baby unicorn. We are going to use white and colored paper, a piece of cardboard, a uh, cereal box, and of course, lots of gorgeous art materials. We start by drawing two circles. One down here, and one up here. So this is our head and this is the body. Then we draw the neck between the two circles, and then we continue with the eyes. The eyes are really quite big because we want the cute look. And remember, this is a uh, baby unicorn. So, you know, babies, they have big eyes. And then the nostrils. And then we add in the ears. So the ears are on top and they're really quite big. Babies got big ears that makes them cute. So here's one ear and here's the other. Next, the legs. The legs are short and cute and a bit fat. And the last one is under the body so we can just see a little bit of it. Then the tail. The tail is big and sort of flows down like this. And then a few more lines. Nice flowing shape. Then we continue with the hair in front. So there is a lot of hair starting by the ear and flowing forwards very long a bit below the eye one more line and another and maybe a little um, tuft of hair swinging in like this oh that looks cute yeah i used to have hair like that when i was a kid and then the mane so it's the same things you can imagine the hair kind of flows down like this gorgeous then the inside of the ear a little line to mark the hooves down on the legs here. And of course, wings. Now wings are optional, but uh, I'm gonna add a little baby wings on this one because I think it's really cute. Some unicorns have, others don't. I'm not really sure why, maybe you can tell me. Anyway, so those are the cute little wings. And then for the most important thing, the horn. I'm gonna add one little cute baby horn on her like this okay then stripes one two and three finished the next step is the inking and i'm using a rubber tipped uh, pen so that i can get different thickness uh, lines so for the horn i'm using quite thin lines the basic rule when using a pen like this is that the small shapes have thin lines and the big shapes like the head have thicker lines. So now I'm going for the thicker lines. Now the trick here is to know which lines to ink and which lines not to ink. For instance, this line on the body I will ink. I will go past the first leg but not the second leg. Here I'm going around the leg shape and up before I continue on the belly and then stop there again and then do the leg shape. The third leg and the fourth leg. Now we show with our line work that these two legs are in front and these two legs are behind. Then this ear is in front of the headline so the lines go a bit in like this and then this ear is behind the hair. So I stop by the hair and then I start on the hairline again. The line around the eyes are a little bit thicker and the line around the uh, iris is a bit thinner. Finally, the little lines on the horn and they are quite thin, so I'm going to go very lightly there. Then we need to erase the pencil marks. Now we can color this up or we can try another neat idea. We can scan it and print it out on three different colored paper. And then we can make three different colored versions. 
Let's start with the pink one. I have picked out here a few colored pencils that goes really well with the pink. We are also going to color with a paint marker that gives a really strong color. I'm going to show you this in a bit. So we start by the dark purple and do a bit of shading. First, I shade the areas that I know is going to be in the shade. So if the light is coming in from this side, the sunlight, let's say, the shadows will be on this side of the shape. So notice that I'm always consistent with my shadows. Then I continue down on the legs, a bit under the wing, and a cast shadow on the ground. Then I continue with a um, brighter purple and I color in uh, the iris. I continue on the hair. Then a um, brighter, rich pink. I make sure that each color I choose has a bit of contrast to the next. And a little bit of color down on the nose. Next, I use a marker and I ink in whatever is going to be black, which is the uh, pupils and the hooves. And the leg at the back is all black because it's in shadow. Then I bring in my paint marker. Shake it a bit so that to mix up the paint, this is going to give a really, really strong color. Yeah, lots of paint coming out and it's really bright. And against the pink paper, it looks super, super bright and strong. And the horn is really important that it stands out. Oh, nice. Then I continue with the bright pink, making a um, stripe on the mane, right in the middle here. And an extra little stripe on the tail. Strengthening up a few of the other colors. Then I bring in my lightest pink and start adding a little bit of shadow on the body. Then I move in on the uh, dark on the eyes. So I start with darkening the upper part a bit, a bit around on the edge. Then I bring in my darker purple and I continue to darkening the upper part, giving it a little shadow up there and down around the edge. That way I also bring out some light in this part. Up until now I have made the unicorn darker by adding darker and darker color. Now I'm gonna bring in the light. So I start with a white color pencil and then coloring in the light side of the shapes. Because imagine the sun is coming in from here so that everything that faces this side will be in the light. Then I gradually fade out the light as I go towards the shadow uh, side. Next, I'm going to paint on the light with a brush and a bit of white paint. So I dip the paint. I dilute with a little bit of water so it's not quite so thick. And I start painting it on. So everything facing the light will get a bit of white paint now. See now you can really start to see the effect of the, um, the light coming in. Even adding some stripes of highlight in the hair. Maybe a stripe going down in between these two colors. Bit of light on the horn. See, now you can see how the horn really stands out very strongly against the dark uh, here in the background. A light stripe on the mane in the back, on the tail, another stripe, a bit thicker this time. Lighten up the wings, making them stand out a bit stronger. White in the eyes, very important because then the eyes look really bright and sparkling and full of life. When one layer of white is dry, I go over it again and then strengthen certain areas. And every time I do that, it looks more and more three-dimensional. 
Then I start with the highlights on the eyes. First on the iris with a bit of paint diluted with a little bit of water. So it's a soft highlight and a bit above the nostrils as well. Bringing out the nose a bit. When that's dry, I add the hot spot and one hot spot directly on the uh, pupil. Oh, look at those shiny eyes on the nostril as well. Tip of the ears. Can do a bit of a hot spot on the mane here, just a little bit, on the wing and the tail. Now the unicorn is basically finished, but what do you think is missing? A rainbow, of course! So here I have drawn and cut out two clouds from white uh, paper. I put the big one here and the small one here. And I take two bits of um, rubber tack to stick them down with. You can use glue, of course, but I quite like the rubber tack because then, you know, it lifts it off the paper a bit so that it creates a bit of a three-dimensional feeling, which is quite nice, like this. Now, between the clouds, we can make a rainbow. Yeah, so I draw it out with a bit of white first. And then uh, I use the colors from the unicorn, same colors to color in the rainbow. Of course, this won't be your regular, typical rainbow, but it will match really well to the uh, baby unicorn. And then a little bit of magic stardust falling from the rainbow down onto the baby unicorn. And now the moment you've been waiting for, glitter. Yes, I got glitter glue and a regular glitter. Now let's add the glitter glue first. I'm gonna add uh, glitter glue along the, uh, the outer layer of the hair. Now you can add glitter glue anywhere you like, but I like to use it as some kind of a highlight. Don't add too much, because that's gonna mess up your whole drawing but just add it at certain interesting spots for a special effect. Ooh, then it's really nice. Oh, look at this gorgeous glitter glue. Beautiful. And have about a bit of uh, glitter glue coming down here by the main, right on the highlight, making it glowing even more. And a bit of magical glitter coming down from the rainbow. Would you like a little bit of sparkle on the tail as well? Okay, let's go for it. Finally, a bit coming down into the face. Then, if you wish, you can add a bit of extra sparkle by, uh, you know, pouring on a tiny bit of uh, glitter dust. And then it'll stick to the um, glitter glue, giving it that extra sparkle. And then you can just blow off the excess. Finally, let's sign our drawing. That's very important, everybody. Now, can you tell the magical story unfolding here? This little baby unicorn is looking at her little wings, waiting for them to grow big so that she can fly up to the magical uh, rainbow uh, between the two magical clouds. Yeah. And check out this one that I made with the green paper. Now I'm gonna put the moon up uh, here. It's a half a moon. And then you got little glitter stars. Notice that here the light comes in from this side. So we get a different light and shade mood. And now we can imagine a different story about how she wants to fly up to the moon. And look at this one with the blue paper. That's my favorite so far with the snow snow coming down. Now we can add a full moon and the light is coming in from this side as well and then a bit of snow on the ground and blue glitter. So now the story changes again. I'm just gonna add a few little last bits of snow. This is how I do it. Simple little touches of snow and she's finished. Finally I want to show you how to put your unicorns into a gorgeous landscape. First, you cut out the front of a cereal box like this. 
Then you paint it blue inside, white around and white snowy dots. Then you put in a uh, snowy hill. I have cut out here a little hill from thin cardboard. So now let's uh, install it. Some glue, put the glue on the sides here, a little bit at the bottom as well. In it goes roughly around the middle of the box. Next, I put in this thick piece of cardboard. I put a bit of glue here in front. I have just glued together some bits of cardboard. I put this in in the front of the box to build it out a bit. Then I put some glue on top of it and then add a little strip of cardboard that I have bent a little bit so that it forms a little snowy hill in front like this. Then we add in a moon. I've put a little piece of cardboard uh, at the back to bring it out from the background in a bit and make it a bit more 3D. Oh, nice. Finally, we put in the unicorn. I have cut her out with a little gluing lug uh, at the bottom. So let's put some glue on that like this. And in she goes, we stick her to the back of the little cardboard hill that we made. I hold here a few seconds for the glue to set a bit. Oh, gorgeous. 